Today's topic is truncus arteriosus. Truncus arteriosus is a rare congenital heart defect in which a single large blood vessel leads out of the heart instead of the normal two vessels, the pulmonary artery and aorta. During fetal development, the heart starts with a single large blood vessel coming from the heart called the truncus arteriosus. As development progresses and the heart develops, the truncus arteriosus separates completely into two vessels, the pulmonary artery and the aorta. The pulmonary artery is attached to the right ventricle of the heart and carries oxygen-poor blood to the lungs where the blood is resupplied with oxygen. The aorta is attached to the left ventricle and carries oxygen-rich blood to the body. In truncus arteriosus, the single large blood vessel fails to divide into two separate vessels during fetal development. That almost always occurs with truncus arteriosus is a ventricular septal defect, a condition in which there is a large hole between the two chambers, left and right ventricles. As a result of these abnormalities, the blood is not as oxygenated as it should be when it circulates through the body. The complications associated with truncus arteriosus include respiratory problems, high blood pressure in the lungs, heart failure, and enlargement of the heart. In rare cases, a person may survive infancy without surgical repair of the heart and live into adulthood, but they will almost certainly develop heart failure and pulmonary hypertension. Causes The exact cause of the condition is unknown. Several factors may increase the risk of a heart condition, and these include viral illness during pregnancy, certain medications taken during pregnancy, poorly controlled diabetes during pregnancy, smoking during pregnancy, certain chromosomal disorders, symptoms, blue coloring of the skin, excessive sleepiness, poor feeding, poor growth, shortness of breath, rapid breathing, heart murmur. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis may require some or all of these tests. Electrocardiogram, pulse oximetry, echocardiogram, chest x-ray, cardiac MRI, cardiac catheterization. Sometimes truncus arteriosus is diagnosed on fetal ultrasound and or echocardiogram. Treatment. Infants with truncus arteriosus must have surgery. As the child grows, multiple procedures or surgeries may be necessary. To help improve the health of the heart, medications may be given before surgery. Medications that may be prescribed before surgery may include diuretics or ionotropic agents to strengthen the heart's contractions. Surgical procedures will depend on the baby's condition. During the surgical procedures to repair the defect, the surgeon will close the hole between the two ventricular chambers of the heart, ventricular septal defect, usually with a patch, separate the upper part of the pulmonary artery from the single large vessel, create a new complete pulmonary artery by implanting an artificial tube and artificial valve to connect the right ventricle with the upper portion of the pulmonary artery. Create a new, complete aorta by reconstructing the single large vessel. Women who have had truncus arteriosus surgery in infancy may need to be evaluated before attempting to get pregnant. A person born with a defect will need regular follow-up visits with a cardiologist to monitor their progress and avoid complications of other health problems. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.